hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I have theoretically my redemption fix for September. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's going to be redemption or not, but I feel like I'm going to be breaking up with Stitch Fix for a little bit again. I had taken, I think, a three month hiatus and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the same unless they give me like a free box. Basically, if they offer to style for free, I will probably take them up on that and I will do Stitch Fix again. And it may, may not be that long of a break, but I just, I'm having good luck at other places and I just don't, I just don't know. I got a five for five. I love this sweater last time. And so I just don't know. I have a gazillion things um, saved on my profile. I mean, I'm, we're talking, I would say definitely like 30 plus items. I, I assume those items are not at the Arizona location. I don't know. I mean, I have handbags, I have purses or, um, earrings. I have clothes. I have pants. I don't know. None of those were offered to me in my preview and none of them are put in the box. I'm going to be honest, the only two pieces I like are the pieces I chose from one of the previews. I don't know. I do have the same stylist who got me the five for five. I had checked the box, you pick, because I just, I'm guessing there's no inventory, but again, I just wish these boxes would be honest. And I almost wish there was a function where you could look and see what they were going to send you, and if you don't like it, you deny it. I don't know. If I kept everything, which I will not do, is $210. I will say, for those of you curious, number one, when I did basically a bad review, it, it, when I was closing out my box, they did immediately offer me a free turnaround. I wasn't sure, and I really thought I would not get my $20 credited. But on my receipt, on the redemption box, I still have the $20 credit. So I will say I appreciate that. I was assuming I was going to lose it. B besides the top I picked, I'm not quite sure there'll be anything to keep. But if I do, I do get credit. So the first top I picked, which I feel like is possibly the only winner. Um, and I also say always try everything on. Maybe I'll be surprised. I'm pretty sure at least three of these items. I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, but I do love the color. I picked this. I hope it fits. It is a flutter sleeve. I don't mind that. I will say the back detail is very pretty, but the back detail because of my hair will also mainly be lost. And so it does have kind of like a lattice work in this tie. Again, I love this color. I hope this fits um, very much so. Um, this is in an extra, extra large Fortune Ivy, the France Flutter Sleeve Blouse, and this is $39. I really, really do hope it's a winner. It feels like it'll fit. I will say I just don't know what to think about Stitch Fix sizing. At this point, there's quite a few places where I'm an extra large, so I don't know. But I will say I have just, one of my next clothing videos will be an Old Navy, not an Old Navy, Nordstrom haul and I'm kind of like I tried on extra large at the store I liked them I ordered one it doesn't fit I don't know so I am definitely in between but Stitch Fix seems to run small I guess is what I'm saying I hope this fits I really like it this is to me the only winner in the box so if it doesn't fit I'm worried next up so I think Stitch Fix doesn't know what to do with me because I don't want winter but I also do not like tank tops, spaghetti straps. So we will see. I don't think this is quite a tank top. I think this would be sleeveless. I do love coral on me generally. Um, so this looks better in person than it did on the preview. Um, in the preview, it looked like a tank top. And so I just was not into a tank top. Sadly, I feel like the bottom is rayon, 100%. So what I found with rayon is if you stretch it out really, really good after a wash, it will last for, for me personally, about three washes. But then it starts basically shrinking. Anywho, so this is an extra, extra large. This is Market and Spruce. 
Asher button detail top. And, whoa, I like. This is on clearance for $22.97. I like that. Um, I will say in person, it's kind of a dusty coral. I don't know. It's almost like a dirty coral, if that even makes sense. So I don't know. This has potential because it's sleeveless. And I know this is going to sound really weird. Okay, so California, we are still in the 80s during the day. But because of this season, most people are not, I mean, almost nobody is wearing a sleeveless. I wore one of my sleeveless dresses the other day. I had coworkers giving me crud for it because it is cooler in the morning now, but it warms up during the day. It was kind of like a desert climate. So this does have potential, but it's sleeveless. So I don't know. The next one, I absolutely will not keep, even if I love how it looks on me, due to the color. I do not like light, light colors like this just wash me out. And I just don't know what they were thinking. I've put that in the feedback a thousand times. Light colors wash me out. I do like the sleeve. I don't mind the way this looks. But like I said, even if I loved the style, I would never keep it because this is not a good color on me. And this is one they chose. This is by CC uh, Extra Extra Large. And it says CC Sportswear, but this is clearly not a sports top. Um, ruffle neck, raglan seam, split neck, neck blouse. And this is $69, especially for the price. I just, no, 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 and no. So, in my last fix, they had a black sweater. Honestly, I liked the black sweater. I felt it was a little clingy and I just were in the 80s. We're, I just am not in the mood to buy sweaters. So why on earth they sent me this really, really thick sweater in black? I just sent one back. Like you sometimes wonder what they're thinking. I just don't understand at all. This is RD style, the Jocelyn V-neck sweater. Oh, this is navy? Supposedly navy. It looks black to me. I don't know. But I just am absolutely not keeping this. Um, so, ooh, $78. No, thank you. It's a black sweater. I will like the color on me. I am absolutely probably sure. I just, it's very thick. I don't need a thick sweater. Um, so this will definitely go back, um, for sure. I will try it on for you guys. And then I picked these jeans and I don't know why, because I don't need a pair of black pants. So these are Cosmic Blue Love Brianna Pull-On Boot Cut, $98, size 14. They are beyond soft. I'm afraid I'm going to love them. Cosmic Blue Love is a brand that so far in my experience accommodates the small butt and thighs and the larger tummy. Um, and so I guess I really just wanted to try them. Um, I will say with the pull waist, I don't know, like this looks like a small waist for me. Uh, I also need high rise and I will say, um, when I go to look for rise, Stitch Fix is getting wonky where some of the pieces don't say rise. And I can already tell you from this looking, this looks low rise to me. So my guess is they are not going to fit. They are a boot cut black jean. I will say I love the fabric. It is a thin, um, buttery soft blend, it's, um, which is fine with me. That's I prefer that. And so it's 32% cotton, 21% modal, 16 lysosyl, 26 polyester, and then 2% elastine. I just don't think this is going to be big enough. We will see. Uh, honestly, I hope they don't fit because I don't want to spend $98 on a pair of pants. I really hope the blue top fits. I really like that. It would be really nice not to lose my style pass. I mean, style fee. Anyway, let's get to the try on. Fingers crossed. I love something. All right, I need your feedback. I am filming in real time. You will see this today, I believe, or at least tomorrow morning, if not tonight. I like it, but it's too 
big in some areas. So I don't know. I do love the color. I like the V-neck. I love the ruffle sleeve. I do think it fits my stomach nicely. It is a, whatever that is, mixed material, which is always clingy. Um, again, I can't really see the detail. I don't know how much detail is visible with uh, pretty much, I think you lose most of it, but it's too big here. I mean, um, it's gigantic from here up. I don't normally have that problem, but you can kind of see my bra and it's just like, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see it there. It's just bagging right there. I don't know if there's enough, there is extra room, but not a lot. So this, uh, I'm so sad. Uh, this is for sure just, again, it's just bagging here. And I can just feel it. Like the whole, the armholes are really big. It's too big. And I don't normally have that problem. So I don't know if an extra large would fit. Sometimes I feel like there's hardly any change, but this top is too big. I am on a weight loss journey. I have for the last month basically maintained. So I don't like buying tops that don't fit at, on the now. So there's no way I can keep this. It is too big. I am interested in possibly sizing down. Um, I think there's enough room, but there's some times where this might be too tight. So I don't know. I do like it. This is a top where I would probably wear it on Monday. I like it a lot. It's just too big. So I think the answer is to size down. I just don't know how the extra large will fit. Um, but do we agree I should size down? And I think this is a good price too. So this is, I believe, $39. I have the $20 credit. So this is, a, I guess, a no-brainer, sizing down to the extra large. Let's see what's next. All right, this is the clearance top. You can see through it, I feel like. And I can see why this is a clearance top. I do not like the way the rayon drapes here. This is also like way, 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 way too big. I feel like maybe I've lost a lot of weight up here, but then not down here or something, but it's unusual that tops are this baggy. So this does not fit. I don't love it either. Like I don't like the creepy um, fabric. I also, like I said, I think it's a dollish coral. Is that even, I don't even know if that's even coming across on the screen, but it's not like a bright coral. Um, anyway, so this is on clearance for $22. It does not fit. I don't like how it drapes here, so we are not exchanging it. Um, $22, but it is a no-go for me. All right, I am back. We had two tops that were too big. This top is too small. I absolutely do not like the color on me. I do not mind the sleeve. I don't mind the neckline, but it's not doing anything for me. And it is too, like, it clings right here. Um, so I don't know if tight would be the word, but it is definitely hanging up on my belly. Um, so this is just, I knew it would be an absolute no. I don't like the color. Even if I love the color, I'm not a fan of how it definitely catches on my tummy. Again, I don't think it's necessarily awful, but I don't love it in at all. So this is absolutely going back. I, I am back with the sweater. It actually is navy. Um, there is no way this is worth $78. I'm also, I feel like Stitch Fix stuff has weird issues. Like, I mean, I know they're different brands. So this is already style. It already feels itchy. It is very thick and heavy. And that's like, I don't know. They, I left my, in my feedback last time. It's eighties in California. Um, but this top, had unusually large holes. This is almost tight under my arms. It feels miss sewn. Like it almost feels like the hole is off center uh, or they're really small. And so for $78, I really want a well sewn garment, but it's tight up here and I just, I don't know. 
if this was a lighter weight, if we didn't have the armhole issues, if I lived in a winter climate, I like this sweater. I think it looks cute. I love navy, I love v-neck, but this is hot. I'm hot just trying it on. And like I said, it feels right here like it's mist sewn or something. It just feels funny, like there's a lump of fabric. I don't know. So I don't, I just, I'm, I've been having such good luck. Macy's, Nordstrom's now. Sadly, I have to wait for Marshall's. I don't have any luck in their extra large section because they're all too small. I have no luck generally at Target, Old Navy. Um, so I would love suggestions. Where where should I try to shop where I can find, I guess, generously sized extra large? Um, anyway, I have one more piece, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back with the pants. I was afraid of this. I feel like I love them, but there's asterisks. So these are the Cosmic Blue Love black jeans. They fit like a glove. I absolutely love them. They, I just love this soft, buttery, lightweight denim. They are $98. Um, the waistband fits. Now, I will say I do wish it was a, like a half inch higher up on the inseam, or not the inseam, the rise they fit really nice i like them a lot a lot i i mean i i feel like they fit really well and if this top wasn't too big this would probably be my outfit on monday um but let's talk asterisks Number one is need. I have a pair of black pants. They are work pants, so they're not quite the same because these are technically very, very soft. I would say these are kind of like almost as, uh, they're in the denim category, but they're so soft, they're almost not like denim. So the problem is I have black pants for work and I don't really have a use for two black pants. These to me, like, I just don't, they're in the same category. It would kind of like, you'd need to get rid of one to keep the other. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, I am on a weight loss journey. So if, if it was, if I was down to my lowest weight that I was going to stay at forever, I would probably without a doubt keep these pants, but I am not. I'm hoping to lose more weight. Um, I've chosen to kind of level off for the moment, but I do think that'll pick back up. So there's that. They're also $98. Also, the other pair of jeans I kept in my 5 for 5 last month were Cosmic Blue Love. And those get a little stretchy in the butt and thigh. So I'm a little concerned about that. Um, so I don't know. I do like them. I haven't sat down to see if they roll over. Some of these, like um, the pull-ons, roll over. So I really do like them. If I didn't have any black pants, I think I would keep them for sure. They feel great on, but they're $98. I already have a pair of black pants. So I think I, I would almost guarantee you they're going to go back. Um, the only thing I'm considering is this top. And I do believe I have to size down. Like it's just too big. Um, I will have to think about that, but I think I have to size down. Hopefully they have an exchange. Um, this top, I just hate. I knew I would the minute I saw it in the preview. I absolutely do not like the color. The color, in my opinion, washes me out. Um, so this was an absolute no. Um, I thought this would be a closer maybe, but it's way too big. Like it's just sags here. I don't like the way the rayon drapes on my stomach. And I also like a brighter, brighter coral. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it just comes across dirty-ish or something. Um, so this is an absolute no. If I lived in a winter area, this sweater could be a possibility. But like I said, it just, oh, you can even see it. Like it's kind of a thicker 
a thicker part right there and you feel that like it just feels weird under your arm that's interesting how it has on both sides that like thicker piece and the way it gathers it just it, it seems like it number one it was sewn off center and um number two it just it's too tight in the arm and for a 78 dollars sweater i want perfection as far as that goes so this is for sure going back so I would love to know your thoughts. Do I send it all back? Do I exchange this? Fingers crossed there are exchanges. I'm pretty sure I'm going to exchange this. I do really like the blue. I like the top. Um, I really do like the jeans a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I like the jeans a lot. I, I just said a lot like five times, but I just, I don't think I need them. I mean, maybe I'll try the other black pants on. Um, but again, because I'm hoping to lose more weight, I just don't feel like spending a hundred bucks, but they are butter soft. They fit me perfect. I do love them a lot. I just have a pair already. Let me know what you think. Overall, I just think I'm doing better at the mall. Now that my daughter's older, I have more time to kind of run to the mall, etc. So I think maybe I'm going to go back to like shopping on my own for the most part. What do you guys think? Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon.